Bloating is when your belly feels swollen or enlarged after eating. Now, it can be a symptom of a serious medical condition, but usually it's caused by something in your diet. So in this video, I'm looking at some common foods that tend to cause serious bloating. Number one, beans and lentils. Beans and lentils are both a type of legume that contain high amounts of vitamins and minerals, protein, fiber, and fermentable carbohydrates called FODMAPs. FODMAPs, which stands for fermentable oligo dye, monosaccharides, and polyols, are short chain carbohydrates that provide fuel for the beneficial digestive bacteria. Now, for most people, they don't cause any problems and can improve gut health. However, in sensitive individuals, such as those with irritable bowel syndrome, FODMAPs interacting with gut bacteria causes major discomfort, bloating, excessive gas, and more. Now, soaking and sprouting beans and lentils beforehand is a good way to reduce the amount of FODMAPs in them. However, if they do give you um, severe digestive stress, uh, you should see your doctor to rule out IBS. Number two, carbonated drinks. Carbonated drinks are another very common cause of bloating. Now that's because they contain very high amounts of carbon dioxide, which is of course a gas. When you drink carbonated drinks, you also consume uh, large amounts of this gas, which can get trapped in the digestive system and cause very uh, uncomfortable bloating and even cramping. Number three, wheat. Wheat has become highly controversial in the past few years, mainly because it contains a protein called gluten. For people with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity or gluten intolerance, uh, wheat causes major digestive problems. Now this includes bloating, gas, diarrhea, and stomach pain. Wheat is also a major source of FODMAPs, which as mentioned before, can cause digestive problems in many people. Now specifically, wheat is high in the FODMAP group uh, called fructans. Number four, garlic and onion. Speaking of wheat and its fructans, garlic and onion also contain very high amounts of vegetable fructans. For this reason, many people often experience bloating and related issues when they eat one or more of these vegetables, especially uh, in large quantities. Look out for garlic and onion powder too, which are common ingredients in many savory food products, um, spices, and sauces. Now, uh, these could very well be contributing to your bloating as well. Number five, sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohols are natural substances used to replace sugar in sugar-free foods and chewing gums. Now, common types include xylitol, sorbitol, and mannitol. Um, sugar alcohols are also FODMAPs. Specifically, they're the polyols. Now, consuming high amounts of sugar alcohols will cause bloating, gas, and diarrhea. In fact, if you check on a packet of sugar-free chewing gum or mints, it will warn you of a laxative effect if consumed in excess. Number six, dairy products. Lastly, I want to mention dairy products, so things like milk, yogurt, cheese, cream cheese, and butter. About 75% of the world's population can't break down lactose, the sugar found in milk. Now, this condition is known as lactose intolerance. So if you are lactose intolerant, dairy can cause major digestive problems, including bloating, gas, cramping, and diarrhea. So it's a good idea to try a lactose-free diet for a week or so to see if your bloating improves. If you have problems with bloating, chances are that one of the foods or food groups on this list is the culprit. That being said, there's no reason to avoid all the foods on this list, uh, only the ones that personally cause you problems. And if your bloating is really starting to affect your lifestyle and how you live your life, make sure that you go and see your doctor to figure out the cause. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And don't forget to subscribe to the Authority in Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.